And the governor of Texas waves the green flag from Pitt Road, and the All-Star race is underway. Riding a rocket scoots away. And it, uh, it's happened right off from the launch. Got a huge launch on the start and hasn't looked back. Teammates fight for third. Larson on the outside. I could not imagine Kyle Busch doing stage two or three any different than what he just did stage one. You want to learn about that race car. Well, here he comes off turn number four. There's right. the green and white checkered flag. Four. Stage one. Caution free. Here it comes. Getting off into one. The car gets light. Gets loose. Wiggles up in front of the one. Big time save by Ryan Blaney. <laughs> yes, that is tight coverage right there. <laughs> I don't think a Hall of Famer can beat that coverage. <laughs> As you saw, Kyle Larson brought out the caution on lap 37. He did not change tires uh, when everybody else stopped and hit the wall in turn four, and it was a big hit. Watch the five right of your screen. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was. Big hit. Those yeah. right side impacts like that rattle you. Yeah, when it goes straight like that, that's definitely a right front, right front yeah. issue. Here's their radio. Definitely yeah, right front. Good for you, okay? Yeah, yeah, it was big, but I'm fine. Next Sunday on Fox, Kyle Busch. Whoa! Whoa. That was big. Got loose off the corner. Had to get completely out of the game. Oh, he's got right rear fire. Right rear down. Huge no. wreck. So Austin Cinder, or Noah as Chastain hit him. Turns Chase Elliott around in the wall. And totals Chase Elliott's car. Well, you saw it. He had a big time wiggle off of four. That thing it saw him get out of the gas. The flames came out of both sides. And then Chastain absolutely nails him on the front straightaway, turning into the nine. What a wreck. What a change of events. Just like that. Chase Elliott had flown up through the field. Now he says he's okay. And so is Chastain. But those cars are junk. Well, Kyle Larson, you just said it's the eight teams to lose. And unfortunately, man, you jinxed him. That's exactly what happened. This race has turned upside down now. Chase Elliott had gained eight spots since the restart in only less than a handful of laps and gets Take it out in this pileup, beginning with Kyle Busch's misfortune. Wow, had such a good race car. Well, let's see. Kyle Larson, Kyle Busch, Chase Elliott, Ross Chastain. Did you pick anybody else to win this race? That's I don't exactly think so. Exactly right. That's almost every favorite that I had, Dub, to win this race as a possibility out of the race already. I was right to show you it's anybody's game this year with this new car. See that big wiggle getting out of the gas. You see the tire down, starting to limp it around, slowing down, and here he comes. Ross Chastain, nowhere to go. Oh. Those are huge hits. And three Chase cars hit destroyed. That hard. Tootsie's cam and Ross Chastain. It's fast. It happens fast in that car. That's a big impact. Next flag ends the stage. Fight is for second. Here comes Byron. All right, look at the inside of Blaney. Oh, he was wiggling. A car got loose on him getting into three. Held on to it, staying in the throttle. It's a drag race to the line. Austin Sindrick wins the stage. 
Blaney over Byron for second. Suarez over Bell for fourth. <laughs> 54 laps in the books. So there's Blaney on the left, then Stenhouse, and Christopher Bell with the pointer in on the right. See him running that outside groove. I think he just got loose. Man, when it took off, it sure got out from underneath of him. I don't believe there was a tire issue there. It just looked to me like it got loose, got out from underneath of him. Suarez, he is, he is working this deal hard. But remember, that right there could be the battle for who leads the restart on that fourth stage. Ryan Blaney to the strike. Win stage three. Break out of four. Sauce going to be out. Sauce is out. Sauce is Jones in a 43 into the wall. Well, that will be your caution flag. There will be no competition caution. And didn't need to be done, right? For whatever reason, it just always happens this way. Again, these stretched out, you know, long green flag runs, just not much happens. The end of this thing, look out. All it takes is one caution, re-rack all these boys. So Bubba Wallace will get the free pass, and Eric Jones brings out the caution at lap 105. Here's a look at it. Well, obviously, it just got loose out from underneath them. I was trying to look at the tires to see if they're up. Car in the wall, back straight away, no problem. He's the last car in line, Ryan Blaney. Caution waves, but did he get the checker before the caution for that car on the back straightaway? Really? We're going to go back racing, boys. And the caution oh, lights are already flashing on the fence. The car that was in the wall in the back straightaway, there were only two cars behind it. They both dropped to the bottom and then cleared that car before the caution flag waved. Oh, my gosh. I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> One more restart. Maybe. Here we go. Got a lot of help behind him with his teammate, Austin Sendrick, pushing him to the lead. That's exactly what he needs. Don't let that 11 get to your outside. He's up. Sendrick might get a run on the bottom. Whoa, Blaney cleared Hamlin, but by inch. Needs those cars racing side by side behind him and has it. Side. Got up top. White flag again. Come on, baby. Bring this thing around. Sendrick giving the 11 all Hamlin can handle. Well, Hamlin got a great run off turn two that time down the back straightaway. You hear Hamlin wide open trying within three car lengths closing. Here they come to the line. The track is green. The checkered flag waves. Ryan Blaney fine wins the all-star race. Thank gosh that happened that way. That's exactly who That's needed to door. win this race. He deserved to win the race. Took care of business. Adversity took care of the wind and net. Washed that out of his mind and went up there and got him a great restart again. Congratulations and great job. My million dollar man, Ryan Blaney. For Blaney, it's his first top four finish in the All-Star race. It's his sixth appearance, and he becomes the 26th different driver to win the All-Star race in its 38-year history. Fourth All-Star win for Team Penske. All four of those wins coming with a different driver. And it's the 13th All-Star win for Ford. I'd hang that wind in that on my All-Star trophy for the rest of its life. Blaney the winner, Hamlin second, three tenths of a second back. Austin Sindrick a fine run for third, Joey Logano fourth, so Team Penske Mustangs one, three, and four. Daniel Suarez, after transferring from the open, rounds out the top five. The rest of the top ten, Bowman, Almondinger. Busher, Keslowski, 
and Bell. Well, in the eyes of some, he had to win it twice, but Ryan Blaney got the job done. He truly did. And, uh, he had a fast race car. We, we saw it even in that little bit of practice yesterday. Yeah. And, and earned it, you know, had to, had the elbows up all night long. Restarts were good. He started slipping, sliding around, kept that car underneath of him, working on that outside. He was up and down, sliding all around, and he figured it out, got this thing. And then this clearing his head at the yes. end of this race is just unbelievable. And give him extra credit for that whole episode with the window net and the non-finish not taking away his focus. When the green flag waved for the final time, he responded. And that's why he is sitting right there, parking it at the start-finish line as an all-star race winner. Mike, I can't imagine what he was feeling. I can't imagine what Jonathan Hassler, his crew chief and that team, were feeling when all that was going on with that window net. Well, we've had fireworks on the track and now in the sky and a concert to follow. On our all-star night, Blaney to celebrate with Jamie Little. No matter what happened, the circumstances at the end, he wants to run up and get his flag. Ryan Blaney dominated the night. Oh, he's giving your little 12 fan right there, letting him keep the flag. Ryan, I know it was wild there at the end, but the bottom line is you are an all-star, a million dollars. It was all about your team tonight. What kind of party can we expect from you? I don't know. I, uh, I, 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 it was about to be real, real bad for us. If <laughs> I thought the race was over, everyone thought the race was over. And I already have my window down, and, and uh, I do want to thank NASCAR for letting me kind of fix it and not make us come down pit road. Uh, but um, yeah, that was really tough. Uh, and then you know, have to do it all over again after trying to get that window net back up there. But great car, uh, Jonathan Hassler, everybody on this 12 group did a great job. Uh, I can't thank Menards, Ford enough. Uh, Dex Imaging, Body Armor, Vance Auto Parts for everything that they do. Dent Wizard, um, this is cool. I, mean, I know it's not a points winning race, but it's going to be a lot of fun. The party's going to be pretty big. So, Ryan Blaney wins the All Star race. One million dollars for Ryan Blaney. Hey, race fans, thanks for watching our video. For all NASCAR on Fox News content and the best clips from Fox Sports, be sure to follow and subscribe to our channel.